What's going on, everybody? Brian Magluon here with the reigning Lone Star Conference Hitter of the Week and recently named NCBWA Hitter of the Week as well for the South Central Region. I'm joined alongside Clay Bradford. Clay, congratulations on a tremendous accomplishment. The first time you've received these honors in your stellar career here at St. Mary's. Talk to us about the feeling of being recognized. Uh, well, it's, it's awesome. You know, I was, I was pretty happy. Um, I was excited. Um, you know, it's, I've worked really hard for it. You know, I've, I've tried. I feel like I came close a couple times last year. Um, you know, we've had some teammates like Josh Buskey and, and Jake Marriage make it. So a little bit of healthy competition, trying to chase after him, you know, get it. But it finally feels good to get and get one. Tremendous performance last week up in Oklahoma. We were talking earlier about how the weather was cold, but it didn't seem to slow down your bat. You were batting well over 500 last week, and you had that six for six game, which tied a record for the St. Mary's baseball program, which, as you know, is a historical program. Six for six, and you also hit for the cycle. The accolades go on and on and on. What was working for you last week? Um, I think it was just kind of trusting, you know, the work I put in the week prior and, you know, and everything. Um, trusting the approach that we worked with Coach Cavazos. Um, you know, I think it was just a big confidence thing. You know, he, we had talked a lot before um, about things, and I felt good going in, and it was just a matter of, you know, trusting, trusting my ability. Uh, a couple times I got down to two strikes, and, you know, my confidence was still there. Uh, I was able to kind of stay within my approach, and, you know, sometimes you just get lucky, and that's the way it worked out. And you not only did it in the batter's box, but also picking up a victory with a complete game on the mound. As a dual threat player, what's your approach like when you come into games knowing that you're going to make a difference both on the pitcher's mound as well as the batter's box? Um, I think it's just kind of keep it simple. You know, you don't want to get too big. And, you know, I definitely have opportunities, you know, on both sides to get it done. But I think the biggest thing is just stay within myself. Um, you know, Phillip on the mound, fill up the zone. Uh, throw me as strikes as possible, force them to hit the baseball and give my defense a chance to make plays. And then offensively, you know, luckily I get an opportunity to help myself out a little bit. So I just kind of trust, you know, again, trust the work I put in, trust the approach that we worked with coach with. And, you know, hopefully things will take care of themselves. And they, and they did this past weekend. This week you guys don't have any games. So how crucial is it for you guys to maintain the work uh, in practice and all that leading up to your games next week? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think the biggest thing is, you know, being smart with our bodies this weekend. Um, you know, we play we play a tough schedule, four games a weekend, and I think the break will be good for us, allowing us to you know kind of catch up when we're banged up a little bit and get some healing going in. But also, it's important to get you know some quality work in. You know, figure out what you're doing wrong, uh, places you can work on a little bit. Um, you know, improve in those areas, and then you know be ready to go for Low Christian next weekend. Well, we look forward to seeing you back out on the field. The Rattlers will be at home hosting Lubbock Christian on March 10th for a four-game set. For more on that. And Clay's tremendous performance last week. Check out RattlerAthletics.com.